Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thanks for watching behind me a Bosch brand stove top and it will not stop clicking. We're gonna show you how to fix it. At this point, all five burners are burning and the only one that makes that clicking sound is the center one. And I don't know if I can center in and see that actual spark there. You can just barely make out the spark. We went ahead and turned off all the burners and we are going to allow all of the burners to cool off. And once they're cool, we are going to remove these top plates here and we are going to one by one flip over the actual cover plate on the burner and see if there's any corrosion on the bottom side interfering with that spark. It's been about 25 minutes. We allowed that to cool off. Go ahead and grab the top portion and remove those. These little top plates, over time they can gather food particles and debris as well as form corrosion on the underside. So just by turning this over, you can see there's a little bit of rust and a little bit of corrosion in there. That is your igniter right there. So it's very possible with all of that corrosion in there, that's interfering with the proper efficiency of that. So we are going to spend some time and clean each of these burners. Let's shift over to the middle one. That was the one that was clicking at all times. And that's in pretty bad shape. That is a lot of rust, a lot of corrosion. We need to clean that thoroughly and get all of that out. And just by comparing it to, say for example, this plate never made any type of clicking. You can see a very noticeable difference between the two. Although this does have a little bit of rust and a little bit of corrosion along the outer edge, it is nowhere near the amount on the small plate here, which is in the center. And as you can see, the internal portion underneath the actual plate near the igniter is very dirty and very corroded compared to this lower right hand burner, as you can see here. So that might be the reason why it is making that constant clicking noise. I recommend grabbing a Q-tip and working in that little groove there and cleaning as much of that corrosion out of there as you can. As far as the recommended cleaning solution for this project, we have a three part baking soda to one part vinegar. And we stirred it up, mixed it together, grabbed a Q-tip and a steel brush. And we are going to spend some time and thoroughly clean all of the rust and corrosion out of this area. I'm using the Q-tip to get in this edge here and just for safety precaution I used blue paint tape to cover this hole. You don't want anything dropping down below. And basically all I did is I took the steel wire brush and kind of roughed up this area and coated the corrosion and rust with that mixture of vinegar and baking soda. And as far as the groove in here, I took that Q-tip and just added a whole bunch. And I stayed away from the actual igniter because down at the bottom portion, the igniter is an opening. And I don't want any of this baking soda and vinegar getting down in that hole. So I recommend letting that sit for about 20 to 25 minutes. We'll come back and we'll clean it out. In a quick view of the actual top plates after, that's a big difference. No more rust or corrosion on there. And... We went ahead and did all of them. Obviously a good recommendation to do all of them as you work through this project. After 20 minutes, we went ahead and cleaned it out with an actual Q-tip, got all of that baking soda. As you can see here, I have not cleaned out that one, but there's a big difference. A lot of that corrosion is no longer there. Again, the inside of that burner, and we cleaned out that one. Again, not perfect, but far better than what it was. Let's go and put these caps back on and give it a try. Before you actually put them on, make sure all the moisture is off and these are completely dry. Testing the center burner. It is on, up and running, and there is no clicking. You can't even hear anything and it is working properly. That's it. I hope the video helped. Like the video, subscribe to the channel at the end of this video. In the event that this trick does not work, there's a couple different things that it can be, and we are going to run you through the step-by-step -step on a few other items that you can accomplish. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely turn on your YouTube notifications. By that, every video we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be cool. Thanks again. See you at the next video.